<clears throat> I'm uh, Art McDonald, and I was a co-winner of the Nobel Prize in uh, 2015 in physics for observing that neutrinos change their flavor between being created in the sun and arriving at our detector on Earth. Neutrinos are very penetrating objects. For them, matter is open space. Passing through every square centimeter of your body every second, there are uh, a few billion neutrinos from the sun. And so they can travel through a million billion kilometers of matter, uh, lead, for example, with only a 50% chance of hitting something. That's a real advantage if you want to study those nuclear reactions that uh, originate in the core of the sun, where neutrinos are produced in very large numbers. It's a disadvantage, however, when you try to detect them, and therefore we required a, a detector that was the size of a 10-story building, and we had to situate it uh, two kilometers underground in a mine in order that the rock above our detector would stop other particles. It's quite ironic that you have to go way down into the earth in order to uh, study the sun. We can use neutrinos to probe our universe in various ways. We use them to probe the way in which the sun burns. There was a puzzle because too few neutrinos were being observed. It turns out we were able to demonstrate that that is because the neutrinos changed their flavor and therefore they were being missed by other experiments. It gives us an opportunity to attempt to understand our universe in a much more complete way. We all want to make sure that our food is safe, but doing that can be really hard. Looking for contaminants in raw materials is tough. The statistics are stacked against us. Today, we can only test for pathogens individually, one sample at a time. And that means hundreds, if not thousands of tests, most of which deliver a simple negative result. We needed to think about this differently. That's why Mars and IBM joined forces, to sequence the genomes of all the organisms in the food supply chain. That's millions of organisms, but big data is what IBM is good at. The DNA and RNA sequences show you all the harmless bacteria that are found in normal, safe food. If we do the test and the microorganisms are suddenly different, something's up. The organisms have changed because the environment has changed it could be contaminated. And not only that, this tells us things that we never could have seen before, like where the food was grown, how it was transported, and maybe even what happened en route. Our approach to food safety just got a lot smarter. 